Our next speaker is Rafael Delgado. A ton of bricks. A ton of bricks, Rafael Delgado. out to get me? Am I cursed? These were the questions that I asked myself the day my house burnt down. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow contestants, Madam Contest Master, has life ever hit you like a ton of bricks? Back in 2006, I had stayed up all night playing video games, and watching movies at a friend's house. The next morning, we had breakfast, and he drove me home. Only the thought that my street was completely blocked off. There were fire trucks in front of my building. For a second, I thought it was probably the neighbors. You know, those neighbors were always firing up that grill. I got out of the car, and my friend drove off. Then it hit me. Wait, that's my apartment. The windows were all broken. The firemen were carrying out my mattress from the rubble I used to call my home. They had told me that the man next door had fallen asleep with a cigarette in his hand and that they were going to board up the place within the next hour. I couldn't help thinking about all my things. Everything I had worked so hard for, gone. I went in to get what was left of my belongings. It looked like a terrible storm had hit the place because there was so much water on the floor. The white walls were not white anymore. They were black as coal. I couldn't take it. It brought me to my knees. I felt like if my whole life was crumbling around me, as if the very rubble was on top of me, like a ton of bricks. I looked to the water, and I saw the only picture that I had of my mother. Looking at the picture, I thought to myself, oh my God. I'm only 22 years old, living on my own, in a city I barely knew. For me, there was no mom, no dad. It was me against the world, and there was nobody standing in my corner to help me. I took the picture, and I put it in a bag, along with some other items I had in the closet that were left. Outside. I sat on the curb with all my things. I didn't know where I was going to sleep that night. But then I asked myself a very important question, a question that had the power to get me back on my feet. Why did this have to mean? that I lost it all. Why did this event have to mean failure? I realized that I was thinking the wrong way. It is not the events in my life that, the, that make me. Instead, it is the meaning I give to those events that determine my reality. Benjamin the Israeli said, man, is not the creature of circumstances. Instead, circumstances are the creatures of men. I decided that this event was not going to mean my destruction. Instead, this event was going to mean a new beginning. I called my friend and I had told him what had happened. 
and he told me how his brother needed a roommate. You know, this event taught me that life can be unpredictable. One minute, you're on top. The next, the whole world can be pulled right from underneath your feet. But even when you're down and out of luck, the very thing that can make the difference is the meaning you give to the event in your life. So the next time you find yourself on your knees because of the weight of the of bricks on top of you, I challenge you to look beyond your current position to a more empowering meaning. Pick yourself up from the rubble and use those bricks to build yourself a new opportunity. And never again will life get you down when it hits you like a ton of bricks. I don't know.